the hop farm and Jacob is eight years old. Horse number six we have is Morpheus. Morpheus is Ace's son, so he is the son of horse number one. He hunts regularly. He's brought to us by um, Emily Marriott, and he's based very locally, so he's very close um, here to Lingfield, so not far from home for him today. Horse number seven is George. Now, obviously, we can't give tips, but, ladies and gentlemen, George is the horse to watch. He was second last year in the Shire race, very, very narrowly beaten by Joey, who's horse number one. Joey's not running this year, now, I'm not saying that means anything, but you know, he enjoys himself here. He's called Curious George because he's so nosy. He is the yard uh, nosy shire. And uh, so we have great expectations for George today. And horse number eight, last, definitely, definitely not least, the gorgeous, my personal favorite, Hercules, who is again, a premium stallion. He is the uh, son of Jack, our horse number three. Hercules does everything. He rides, drives, he does side saddle, he does dressage, he does shire racing. Um, you name it, Hercules can turn his hoof to it. If you want Hercules to stop and look at you, point your camera at him. I've never, ever met such a poser in all my life. But hey, if you look like Hercules, you'd be a poser too. So that's your runners today, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully the rain's clearing over now. We want you all cheering as loud as you can down by the trackside for these wonderful horses and uh, watch them have a bit of fun. And thank you so much for coming today. Thank you very much, Julie. Julie O'Reilly from Shower King, sponsoring the uh, Shower King Flying Feathers Shy Horse Charge. One thing to note here, this race is not being run under proper rules of racing. Uh, that will start at 5.50. The tote will be taking bets, but this has nothing to do with the play spot or anything like this. This race has got to be taken in isolation, of course. But if you fancy a wager on this, you just had a pretty big tip from Julie there. Just had a pretty big tip then if you want to follow that advice, the tote will be taking bets. Now, our jockeys, national hunt jockeys, these are, of course, are about to uh, head into the paddock. Mark Grant, uh, winner of this race last year. He'll be riding horse number one, Ace. Samson will be uh, ridden by David Cross. Gerald Tumati is in charge of Jack Flash, horse number three, who seems to be enjoying himself uh, walking around the paddock. Number four, Lady Carolina. Tommy Carberry in charge, Jacob Colin Bolger, Morpheus, horse number six, Mark Goldstein, Curious George, Harry Miller, and horse number eight, Hercules from Jamie Moore. Just before you nick off here, Julie, those of us who are used to watching uh, races on the all-weather track throughout the year here at Lingfield, of course, the minimum trip that we will have under rules is five furlongs, and that race would take something in the order of 58, 59 seconds. These Shire horses are travelling over two furlongs, and it's important to note that they do move just a little bit slower than a thoroughbred. Slightly slower than a thoroughbred, yes, it is true. These are very versatile animals, but um, yes, they're not the fastest in the world. They enjoy themselves tremendously. Um, you'll see a lot of flying hair, but yes, I would imagine they will probably do two furlongs in about the same time it would take a racehorse to do six. <laughs> we can see how much they're enjoying themselves when they're walking around a paddock. So our National Hunt jockeys uh, will be getting mounted up shortly. They'll be out on the track. It's on the all-weather track. This uh, There'll be rosettes presented to all the jockeys taking part, thanks to them, and also a sack of carrots to the winning shire. You've had your tip from Julie. Our thanks to Shower King, the toe-taking bets. Runners will be heading down to the, uh, or probably walking down more sedately, to be honest, to the... Uh, all-weather track shortly. We'll see them down there. John Blance will be our race day commentator. He'll also be calling this Shire Horse race. The bell has just gone for the jockeys to get mounted up, so our thanks to Julie. We'll be seeing her later for the presentations for this Shire Horse charge, which will be over two furlongs.
So eight runners for the uh, Shy Horse Charge, sponsored by Shower King, which will be over two furlongs on the all-weather track. Now, as you look out from the grandstands, that means they start away to your left-hand side. There's a little shoot there, and they'll be starting there and coming up to the uh, finish line. Bets being taken in one or two places, including the tote. If you fancy a wager, get involved. This race has nothing to do with the others that we'll see this evening. This is outside of the rules of racing, this, but well worth having a little fun punt anyway. This was very, very, very popular indeed, this event last year. Went viral, it went round the globe. Let's see what happens tonight. And let's join our commentator. He'll be commentating on the races under rules a little bit later. He's kindly stepped in to call the Shy Horse race as well. It's a very good evening to John Blantz. Thank you, Steve. They'll be uh, making their way down uh, very shortly for this uh, Shire Horse race. The Shower King Flying Feathers, Shire Horse Charge. First out onto the track. Looks like horse number one there, Ace. You'd have heard as the father of uh, one of the other participants here, Morpheus. Could be interesting in a driving finish. Ace is in the black colours with the red stars. Second horse out is Samson in the white with the dark blue stars. It's a matter of David Cross. Mark Grant, by the way, is riding Ace. All congregating at the entrance to the track. Looks like they're coming out now though, so Ace is leading them, the one horse, followed by horse number two, Samson. Looks like they might be uh, coming out onto the track in race card order here, which is... Uh, Handy as well. The third out will be Jack Flash. Joe Tumulty rides this one. Black and blue stripes, white sleeves, blue and black striped cap. Fourth horse out uh, looks like Lady Carolina, who's in slightly different colours to those printed in uh, your race card. Purple with the pink star, pink sleeves, purple cap with the pink star. Lady Carolina is the mount of uh, Tommy Carberry. Then after that, we have Jacob in the lime green with the yellow star, lime green and yellow striped sleeves and the yellow cap. Jacob is partnered today by Colin Bolger. Then after that, going down, we have Morpheus in the white with the dark blue diamond. It says black diamond in your uh, car. This was his di uh, black, really looking at uh, it from here. Black diamond, black sleeves and a black cap. It's a man of Mark Goldstein. And the final two going down, Curious George, just being superseded on the way down by Hercules, who seems to be going considerably faster than some of its colleagues here, Hercules, in the red and white uh, diamonds, the checked sleeves, that's a matter of Jamie Moore. And then also going down is Curious George in the blue and yellow quarters, the light blue sleeves and the blue and yellow quartered cap. So there they are, making their way down in front of you now. Jamie Moore, by the way, is riding Hercules, of course, had such a fantastic last season Jamie Moore in uh, the uh, National Hunt game Curious George is the mount of Harry Miller starting point for this race is uh, two furlongs out so just as they turn in uh, down the all weather track home straight there and we're due off at 10 past 5 so that uh, still leaves us a little bit of time uh, prior to post but uh, not that far away now, so I would have thought they'll be getting off pretty quickly.
Horses have now made their way down to the start. And the starter seems to be asking them to uh, get into some sort of order. That looks like they're being called in. Now we've got a bit of a problem with Jack Flash. He's not uh, lined up with the rest of them. And Hercules seems to have uh, got a little bit uh, excitable under Ryan Moore there. Sorry, Ryan Moore under uh, Jamie Moore. He uh, was a little bit uh, free, if you can call it that, going down to the start. Certainly the only one who seemed to uh, really get uh, into anything over a canter. Just a little bit enthusiastic down at the start as well. Being asked to go back and form another line. Is this a goer? This looks promising. They are. They're off and racing for the Shower King Flying Feathers Shire Horse Charge. Jack Flash is away pretty well towards the uh, far side there in the white sleeves and it's leading as they go through uh, the first half furlong or so to Morpheus in second. Here at the near side comes Curious George who ran well in this race last year and he's running pretty well in it this as well as they go towards the final half furlong Curious George on the near side Jack Flash on the far in between the pair Morpheus. It's a three way go here in the Shire Horse race. Far side though Jack Flash Jack Flash I reckon just ahead of Morpheus and Curious George and they were followed in fourth place by Jacob. Photo finish, photo finish. Here is the result of the photo finish for first place. First, number six, Morpheus. Second, number three. Third, number seven. And the fourth place horse, number five. The full result of the Shower King Flying Feathers Shy Horse Charge. First, number six, Morpheus. Second, number three, Jack Flash. Third, number seven, Curious George. And fourth, number five, Jacob. The distances were a short head and half a length, a short head and half a length.